Let's create this game. First, let's create new 2D project. I'm using version 19.4, but you can use any other newer version. Let's install a universal render pipeline to be able to use a shader graph. After installation, create a universal render pipeline asset and assign it in the project settings. Now import two sprites which will be provided in the description of this video. Because these sprites are 1024 by 1024, let's adjust pixel per unit to 1024. So the size of this object will be one unit. Let's create bottle that we will use in this game. Add bottle outline to sprite and sprite renderer. And let's create child sprite which will be bottle mask where colors will be presented. Next, create 2D renderer unlit shader. And create material based on that shader. Drag that material on bottle mask material. And open the shader. and arrange shader place so that it's easier to use. Let's add a texture 2D property. Name it however you want, but reference must be underscore main text to fix that error on sprite renderer. And as you can see, now it's fixed. Let's add color property. Drag and drop it. And connect it to color. Now you can change color of bottle mask in the material. Now we will create fill amount property which will control how much bottle is filled up. We will control that with alpha. So split color node and use combine node to combine color with the custom alpha. We will use position node which will be subtracted with position of object. And split that value. Where R channel is X axis and G channel is Y axis. This subject height is 1. And this process of subtraction will make that all returned values from G channel will be from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. Connect G channel value to step node which returns 1 if the value of in is greater than or equal of edge value otherwise it will be 0. And if alpha is 1 it's visible and for 0 is invisible. As you can see it works well between values Minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. Add other three colors.
color 1 will be bottom color and up to color 4 which will be top color. As you can see on this image 16% will be empty and for every color goes 21%. And as this is distributed between minus 0 0.5 and to 0 0.5, those values will be used to fill amount property and lerp between colors. And we will use same method like in fill amount for colors. For first color we will use minus 0 0.29 in step node and lerp between uh, color 1 and color 2. And you can see in the preview how it works. And now do that for other colors and use values from the image I show you. On the end, connect final LERP node to split node. For easier use, make fill amount property as slider between minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.34. When you rotate object, liquid behaves like a liquid. That's because we use position node in a world space. And when you think everything works, there is one more thing. When we rotate object, there is a same height of a color, so we need one multiplier to fix that. But first, Let's arrange nodes a little. Add scale and rotation multiplier property and multiply it with values we previously used on step nodes. Do that for every step node and also fill amount. And as you can see, when we are changing multiplier, height of colors change. And those are variables we need to manipulate. Object rotation, fill amount, scale and rotation multiplier. In the next tutorial, I will create a script to control these variables and make it work like in the original game. If you like this video, consider subscribing and if you want to support me more, you can buy one of my assets at Unity Asset Store. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.